We now know the name of the woman hit and killed on Carroll Road in the pedestrian crosswalk on the Pufferbelly Trail. 63-year-old Lisa Patrick died at the scene last night. Tonight, people are speaking out, saying that intersection is confusing. Wayne 15's Brianna Brownlee spent the day looking into exactly what drivers and pedestrians should do at trail crossings. We've been receiving social media comments and emails from viewers all day expressing their concerns about crosswalks such as these on the Puffer Belly trails with the flashing lights. I spoke to one man today and he's actually calling on the city and the county to make a change. All day we've received comments like these. The community seeking clarity at a confusing pedestrian crosswalk where a woman was killed. This poor lady, I feel so sorry for her family. It was completely avoidable. These lights need to be taken down and taken down as quickly as possible. 63-year-old Liza Patrick was struck by a Toyota Camry Thursday night while trying to cross the street. A spokesperson with the Allen County Sheriff's Department tells Wayne 15 that the Camry was headed west on Carroll Road when the driver came up on a stopped blue truck at the trail crossing. The driver of the Camry went around the truck and eventually struck Patrick, who was trying to cross. She was pronounced dead at the scene. In, in Indiana and in Fort Wayne, those are all stop signs for the people on the trail and yellow blinking lights for the drivers. Yes, you do slow down and stop if somebody's in your way, but you don't stop your car and encourage them to come out. Laura McCoy's been a driver ed teacher for the past 42 years. She says what happened to Patrick was tragic and drivers need to remember the Indiana law of pedestrians stopping and drivers proceeding with caution. This is a tragedy that has happened in our city and our county that is completely avoidable. Brad Davis is also frustrated with the crossing. He and his son walk and bike the trails on a regular and also notices drivers confused of the blinking yellow lights. He wrote a letter calling on Fort Wayne City Council and the Allen County Commissioners to make a change. The fact that they're different is part of the problem. There's no other crosswalk markings like this in the city or the county. The crossing where Patrick was killed is outside of city limits, so I reached out to the county commissioners and they sent me this statement. We are saddened to learn the tragedy that occurred on the Pufferbelly Trail last night. As we do with any fatality on our Allen County Road system, we will be looking into the circumstances regarding this matter. Brianna Brownlee, Wayne 15 News.